Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you would like to know all about this wig that I have on, then keep on watching. Hey everybody, so today's wig is courtesy of ChinaLaceWig.com. They reached out to me and I am so glad they did because honey, this wig is popping. So let's unbox it. As you can see, they had like this really, you know, fancy, very, you could tell that they put a lot of effort into their packaging. And a plus about all the China Lace wigs is that they all come pre-plucked, bleach knots, and a natural hairline, which makes it so much easier to, you know, just throw it on and go. As you can see, they sent me a little gift. It was really cute, these little ears. I guess it was for Halloween. So I thought that was really nice of them. You know, they didn't have to do that. But let's get to the wig. Your unit will come in this nice silk baggie, which I really do like because it'll make storing your wig much easier. And with the silk, um, it doesn't dry out the hair, so you don't have to worry about that while you're storing your wigs. So the wig came to me in this plastic. They really made sure everything was protected. And I like that extra effort that companies do because it shows you that they care about their product and they care about it getting to you, you know, in one piece. So this is a 360 lace wig. That means there's lace all around the perimeter and tracks in the middle. Um, it comes pre-plucked, as I said. So like the hairline is not super thick. They have three combs and one in the back, which is very useful. And as you can see, the lace is already a bit tinted. It was fine for me, but you may have to go in and tint it, tint it yourself, but I didn't. And as you can see, the hairline is thin and it's not too thick and it's something that you could really work with and honestly you guys I did not do anything to this unit I didn't even go and do the baby hairs or pluck I did everything as it was when it came out the packaging the hair is super soft it's 20 inches and yeah so I went ahead and tried it on my head at first to see how it felt I did not go and put an elastic band in because all I did was adjust the adjustable strap and it was snug enough for me so my first step is I'm going to put on a wig cap and I usually don't wear wig caps but since I didn't bleach the knot I felt like this will help a little bit. And after I do that I'm going to go ahead and put the wig on make sure that the comb in the back is adjusted and where I need it to be. Then I'm just going to fix around the front before I go ahead and attach it. So I'm using the got to be the freeze and hold hairspray. I am not using the gel or anything like that. And I'm going to basically spray that right in front of my wig cap and a little bit on top of it as you can see. So you're just going to spray that a good amount. Then I'm going to get my blow dryer on the cool setting and spray that till it's a bit tacky. I do recommend working at, with one side at a time, but for the sake of the video, I just went ahead and did the whole hairline. But for you guys, I would say do one side, make sure that's laid, and then do the other so you don't have to go back and, you know, and be extra. So yeah, I'm just making sure that everything is attached. It's right in front of my wig cap. You know, I'm using the comb, pressing everything down. And I even went ahead and back on, on the side and sprayed some more. That's why I recommend doing one side at a time so you don't have to do this. But whatevs, y'all. So yeah, just lay that down, press it down, make sure it's attached. And as you can see, um, some of the front is like on my ear. So I just went ahead and cut that off. That's not a big deal. And here I am taking it out of my ponytail. Oh, did y'all peep that it went up in the ponytail and it doesn't look too bad? Okay, okay. So here I am just going to show you how the parting space is. You guys, I did not bleach the knots and it actually does not look bad, the parting. Like, it really doesn't. So, shout out to China Lace Wig. Alright, so I left the part on the side. This is how the part came. It was like already, you know, indented. I didn't go ahead and switch it. But yeah, so this is my side part. And I did lay my baby hairs. And you guys, I did not do these myself. These came in the wig. All I did was razor it down so that it's a bit shorter. And it actually does need to be a little shorter, but you know, whatevs. I'm going to use my wand. This is from the Numi 
Company. This is their Curl Jam set, and I have the smallest barrel on. You could like take this barrel off. I did make a video on this wand set. I don't think they sell it anymore, but I'm sure you could find like you know different companies with wands that you could change the barrel. So anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and put some light wand curls in this unit. You know, nothing too special. I really didn't plan on doing this, but you know, why not? So yeah, and look how easy, like that wand was in my hair for like five seconds, maybe not five, but look how easy this hair takes to curl. And it's so soft. The hair did not have any smell, no nothing. Like I really do like this wig. And if you are a beginner, I do recommend it because you don't have to do much. You know, some wigs you have to pluck and you gotta tweeze and you gotta part the baby hair, you gotta raise the baby hair. But with this wig, all you would really have to do is you know, adjust it to fit your head and raise it down the baby hairs and you're good to go. there you have it ladies that's my 360 unit from china lace wigs thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video